when you look at something that no one sees that everyone should see, when you think about the future of AI code and the future of software engineering, what does no one talk about that you think more people should be talking about? A focus on deep context. It's already better than us, honestly, at these sandbox problems. A lot of the tough questions are you know, that, that, that we answer today are things like, well, th there, there was this, uh, there is, th there's this project that we're trying to do today. And it's very similar to what somebody else actually asked Devin a month ago. And how do we use that knowledge and kind of improve on that, um, in order to make Devin smarter, or there's these little things of like, you know, you, you want to go test the front end for, for your, your code base and make sure everything looks as expected. You know, you should be able to understand like, what is that supposed to look like? Or why is this different from what, you know, if you find a bug, you should be able to understand like how you found the bug. And, and that's a lot of the little detail of honestly, uh, of, of, of what makes, I'll call it the difference between code and software engineering, which is basically working in a large complex code base, building some intuition and some representation of all of the different pieces and how they interact with each other learning how to use all the various tools at your disposal to, to actually understand what's going on and to, to debug and diagnose. Um, and I think that is actually the, the big problem, honestly, in AI coding. And I, I, I think that's, that's, that's the big thing that folks will work on next. The thing that's fun, by the way, it's a very practical problem, you know? And so it's a, you can call it a research problem. Obviously, in many ways, it is a research problem um, in terms of like how, how to push for these capabilities and make these things better. But it's not the, not the kind of thing that you can solve in a sandbox. You know, it's the kind of thing that you actually really just need to think about the practicality of software engineering to, to, to get into. You said there about kind of, hey, coding agents was what you saw before other people saw and what no one was discussing. It's a hard one. And I, so I don't know how blunt I can be, but it felt like Devon fell out of the zeitgeist a bit. If we're honest, El Cursor and Windsurf owned consumer attention and owned the brand. Do you think that was a case that Devon just wasn't very good at marketing? Or do you think that was like a product miss 